second conference day, which will focus on transport transition and technology. I'm Philip Rode from LSE Cities, and I'm going to co-chair the next 90 minutes with my colleague Eleni Ashibir from the WRI Ross Center here in Addis Abeba. Now, before handing over to Eleni to um, chair the first part of the session, I would like to put this into context and then also introduce uh, the structure of uh, how we're going to go about the next 90 minutes. As you have heard yesterday, this is the 17th Urban Age Conference, part of a series of events which we uh, are running since 2005. Now this begs an obvious question about how our debates, our ideas, and our critiques have evolved over that period, but I need to unfortunately share with you that this would be another conference in itself, so we won't discuss that. But I am able to tell you that most of our conversations at Urban Age conferences have evolved in a steady and continuous way. Issues of social inclusion, design, planning, housing, informality, and governance are good examples. But other conversations were really triggered by particular moments. A new recognition of crisis, but also opportunity, climate change, the world financial crisis, Hurricane Sandy, gentrification, a green economy were all items which hit this conference series very hard and allowed us to engage with new subjects. And then there's a third set of changing conversations, and that's entirely different. These sets of concerns are about issues which even a few years ago we did not have a vocabulary for. These set of concerns were non-issues. And in the program's context, they mostly related to radical technological change, often in the transport sector. Think of smart mobility, ride hailing, sharing, digital taxis, urban mobility apps, mobility as a service, dockless bike hire, electric mobility, personal mobility devices, drones, and of course, AVs, autonomous vehicles. These are all words which never were uttered at Urban Age conferences before 2007. And very importantly for this conference, technological change has become a unifying issue for cities around the world and at different wealth levels. Anna Herrhausen yesterday suggested in her opening remark that there's of course a massive dichotomy between cities at different stages of development, cities at different sizes, and in different socio-political makeups. But she also stressed that this should not deter us from juxtaposing, contrasting, and learning across those differences. What cities are currently experiencing in relation to transport and technology change is a perfect illustration of her point and related to those very similar challenges cities are facing. Recently, Addis Ababa banned the uh, transit or the, the taxi app ride. And it's a very similar conversation that's happening at a political level here as we have it in London about thinking about whether Transport for London should allow Uber to operate in London. Now this session acknowledges the broader dynamics of cities around the world trying to accelerate a transition towards more equitable and greener transport. And at the same time, it acknowledges that these efforts are increasingly confronted by disruptive digital technologies capable of both supporting but also compromising such strategic goals. We'll run this session slightly differently from what we have done yesterday. It's in three parts. The first part will look at transit futures and infrastructure where we'll hear about guiding strategic visions and objectives for urban transport in two leading African cities, Addis Ababa and Lagos. We'll then have a discussion right after this. The second part shifts the focus to digitally enabled popular transit or paratransit as some people would refer to it. Again, after presentations, we'll then have a discussion around the table. And then the final part discusses the urgent need for better connecting virtual mobility platforms with the political and spatial realities in cities. So for now, I hand over uh, to Eleni to moderate the first part. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Philip. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, okay. Uh, the first one, as Philip said, will be transit features and infrastructure. 
will be concentrating on Africa, and uh, the presenters will be Ladi Lawson and, oh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> and I didn't have uh, breakfast as well. <laughs> uh, I'll start again. So the first one will be transit features and infrastructure. So we will start with Ladi Lawson. Uh, I apologize if I uh, mispronounce your name. And our own uh, doc uh, Dr. Salamun uh, Kidani uh, will present the first one. Uh, 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 so I will, I will give the opportunity to uh, Mr. Ladi.